What's up, fishy people, train people, whoever happens to watch my videos. As you can see, the uh, tank is grown in a little bit since I uh, last made a video a few months back. My fish seem happy and healthy. Had one or two die over time, but that happens. And it's mostly fry. I give away some fry and a shit ton more. <laughs> were born to take their place. I uh, fed the fish earlier so they're kind of happy and perky and doing their thing. The uh, plants Joel, 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 <laughs> I, I, I can't say it. Right, the plants he sent me are growing real well, especially that. Um, uh, I forgot the name of it. Willow Hygro and the Italian Val is doing pretty good. The Wisteria are growing like nuts as usual. The Opal and Grammy is still my favorite. It's got the best personality of all my fish. She's doing her own little thing. Nice little fish. I don't want to move the camera too much or get it too close because she hates any electronics in front of her. I don't know why, but whatever. That's one of my favorite little platies right there, that black one. Can't remember what, what I think it was like a marigold or painted platy, I don't remember what it was called. But as you can see it's real nice looking. I narrowed down some of my adult platies to about five or six. I'm probably gonna remove one or two more. Just to get them down to the nicest looking ones. And I might buy some nicer looking ones to replace them. As you can see, they're kind of, so they, they like to hide in the plants. Sometimes they'll pop out and go looking for food, but you know, you can never tell. The little neon tetras are doing their little thing. If you watch, you, you saw that there, they chase each other sometimes. What happens is they'll, um, when when one of them decides it it's, uh, doesn't want to be lower in the pecking order, it decides to uh, move what it decides it wants to lead the school one way, and it ticks off some of the other ones, and so they start chasing it, and then it'll chase them, and you have a little mini frenzy for about a second, two seconds, and then it'll go back to normal. They sort of bob around like they usually do. That's your typical uh, black, black tail uh, platy, I think. Is it red? Black, something like that. I don't know. It's doing pretty good. It, she's uh, poking around for food. Just to give you a better look at the tank from afar that a uh, water change today. There's a, uh, if I can get in here, that Anubius is uh, just floating around in there. Usually it's sitting straight, sitting straight up near the top and it's it grew like crazy over time. Normally I would use uh, Omega-1 flakes for my fish, but these were cheaper at one at my local fish store. You know the uh, supposedly the Omega ones are better quality, but I didn't see any difference. And I use um, if you want a real good if you want a uh, algae wafers that your fish will love. Get this uh, Hikari algae wafers. 
my fish. Even the neon tetras will go nuts for them. You know it's good when neons are poking around the bottom. I'm probably going to move stuff around a little bit just to get a slightly better layout. Just to let you watch some of the fish poke around for a minute. There's the quarry cats. You can see them in there. They may or may not move, but oh well. Hope you enjoyed watching. Whoever watches this. <laughs> Let's take a look at that pretty though. <laughs> Anyways, have a nice day and thanks for watching.